Hey guys and welcome to Words of Skill. So today I am sharing my Perplexity 3.0 article writing workflow. And no, Perplexity is not called 3.0, but <laughs> some YouTubers have uh, picked it up. But I still think that Perplexity has improved enough to call it that. So I'll be using, as teased in my last video, the AI profile and a couple of collections features within Perplexity to write an SEO optimized, hopefully 1000 plus word article. And this is a very simple, basic, almost prompt that I'll be filling in as we go. Before we start, let me remind you that my main resource is called Was Universe, where you can get exclusive discounts for the tools that I use. You can also sign up for the free resources, which is my niche newsletter and my detection prompt. There are quite a few SEO courses and materials like the Outline Genius, like the Prompts Library, a one-on-one call, which is a very popular service that I offer. Lots of great testimonials there. And a niche hunter which is a course dedicated to finding niches in a detection i have uh, quite a few things to offer i have a whole course called detection ninja and if you're only interested in passing oriented i have a humanizer pro video lesson plus prompt so go check out so going back to perplexity uh, one of the most important things that i need to stress out is that there are currently four models within perplexity and each has shown its strong suits in different scenarios so I still prefer GBD4 uh, when creating LSI keywords and extracting entities. I'm torn between GBD4 and Gemini Pro for the article outline, and I'm still using Cloud 2.0 for most of my article writing. And so let's start with some of the default settings. So if we go to my AI profile, the thing that I teased again uh, in the last video, I have these very simple prompts that basically says Whenever I ask you to write an article, always follow the article checklist. And the article checklist is as follows. It has some guidance as far as style, format, and tone, and SEO. And uh, it's going to be on the background whenever I write an article. I can pause it, I can activate it, but uh, for the today's video, I'll leave it on. And then I have my two collections. Uh, think of them as ChatGPT plugins that I'm using. And so uh, let's first start with the LSI extractor. And I'll just go straight to the LSI extractor and I'll show you the actual prompt. So the prompt is you're an expert SEO whose main task is to extract highly relevant entities and LSI keywords. When I enter a seed keyword, analyze the top articles, rank it for the keywords on Google, and extract 100 highly relevant LSI keywords and 50 highly relevant entities. And this is the prompt. So this is what we are going to be using. And uh, I usually leave the copilot on when I'm using the collections. So let's just go my seed keyword is and this is my seed keyword and again i'm using gpt4 for this based on the top articles ranking for the seed keyword does content pretty improve google rankings here are 100 highly relevant osi keywords and 50 highly relevant entities most of the time i suggest you read through this osi because sometimes perplexity messes up and it will insert completely irrelevant LSI and entities. Like, uh, I don't know what it is about perplexity, but sometimes you would find something like pet food here, for example, which no way is relevant to the keywords. I don't think it happens this time around, which is good. If it does, you just reprompt it and that's it. So let me see if this is in markdown formatting. Uh, yes, it is. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this. I'll get rid of the citations and I'll copy the keywords like so. And this is my master prompt. Use Markdown and follow the article checklist. So this is the one that I was alluding to earlier to write a 2000 word article on does content pretty improve Google rankings. Important, make sure to one, use the below outline and we'll get to the outline later. It doesn't matter in which sequence you're going to do that. To use all the below keywords when writing and I'll just insert the keywords here like so. And now we need to go to the second collection. So in order to do that you go to library and this is the outline genius. So this is a stripped down version of the outline genius that I sell. So if you go to Vast Universe SEO outline genius this one is actually a mini course so this is a gpt a raw source file and a video lecture and this works with chat gpt differently a little bit better but here i'm just showing you a stripped down version once again so let's go to outline genius and this is it uh, generate an outline for an article about a specified keyword analyze available youtube videos as well as high ranking blog posts to draw inspiration from then based on the information from youtube videos and blog posts create the most comprehensive outline possible and now this is important. When you're done, ask me for a reference outline, then combine the two outlines while trying your best to maintain everything from the original outline. So let's see how it goes. Again, my seed 
keyword is does content pruning improve rankings what specific aspects of content pruning and google rankings are you interested in case studies expert opinions best practices and this is actually imbued into the prompt itself so i'm asking perplexity to actively search for case studies and expert opinions so this is the article outline introduction a brief overview of content pruning and its relevance of to seo Explanation of the primary goal of the article, explore whether content pruning can positively impact Google rankings. So this answers the main question. A definition, the rationale, overview, discussion, case studies, expert opinions, best practices, content pruning strategies, challenges, and a conclusion. The outline aims to provide a comprehensive guide. It addresses the initial query. Well, it did not uh, ask me for a reference outline. It usually it does, but that does matter. So uh, again, there are multiple ways of doing that. Uh, for the sake of time, I'll just go to a free resource, which is a surfers powered free outline article generator. And I'll insert the keyword like so. And it does a pretty decent job at creating a basic outline that is based on the current SERPs, which is what we want. And I prefer this to actually opening up every single article in the SERPs and using Harper, for example, I think this is a much more time efficient way of doing that. So now what we need to do is to go to copy basic outline then three markdown down to HTML. And yeah, we need to um, do some editing. Let's just try and edit it here. So let's call it reference and we'll try to edit it here a little bit. So don't jump the gun. We don't need that. Creating a constant in inventory, leave a response. That's completely irrelevant. Okay. Okay, that's about right. So let's see what happens. So this is now a combined outline, the main points from the initial outline and the reference outline. So let's just go to our prompts, tidy it up a little bit. So introduction, what is content pruning, the benefits of content pruning, content pruning and Google's algorithm, case studies, how to implement strategies, challenges, conclusions, additional resources. And I've just realized that I had used uh, GPT-4 for uh, an article outline. That's fine. I either use GPT-4 or Gemini Pro, but now I need to switch to Claude. So now we need to make sure the Claude 2.1 is activated since we're going to be writing the final article. Let's open up a new thread and I'll be using the focus mode because I want to have that connectivity to the, to the internet that comes with this mode. Use Markdown and follow the article checklist to write a comprehensive and detailed 2000 word article on does content pruning improve Google rankings. Make sure to use the below outline. This is the outline to use all of the below keywords when writing. So, okay, our article is done. Let's go back to new writer and I have already pre-populated title and description just by entering the keywords and I can probably do a better job. So that's going to improve Google rankings and SEO and let's add SEO here as well. Save and close. And now let's just paste the content and see what the score is. Hopefully. Oh, okay. So it's 72 and the article is only 1200 words long of highly optimized SEO driven content. And what we can do also is go based on the above, create a helpful key take a waste table. Okay. And I think we'll paste it here. And also what I want to do is another table, but for research and case studies. Okay, good. We'll do the same here and we'll just need to find a relevant research section inside of our article. It should be here somewhere. And yeah, so we, what we just did, we improved the article almost to 1600 words of highly relevant SEO optimized contents. And the content itself answers the question directly, contains a lot of relevant information, a link to sources in the end that Google loves. And yeah, this is how I use perplexity. It's one of my favorite ways so far, and this will rank. Before I go, go check out Vast Universe for the personal consultations and discount codes and courses. And yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.